So uh, we'll do that. And then, uh, Steve Simmons, anything else? Uh, nope. I mean, you know, obviously my big concern is that making sure that answers come and that, the you know, the young sailors and Marines are all taken care of. Cause I hear you. Primary. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Godspeed. We'll continue to follow your case because we're all being affected by this in a lesser way, unfortunately. Um, I wish none of us were being affected by it, including yourself. Uh, it's, it's, you know, my, my cousin uh, was born with holes in his heart right after my uncle got back from Vietnam. He got married, had a child, and the child died when he was about a year and a half old. His name was Flint. Uh, and, and they told him, they told him that it was Agent Orange. And then, of course, he had a bunch of other children that were fine after that because they, they say it precipitates out and affects you for a few years. And, and, of course, that's on record, but they tried to cover that up for decades. And then, of course, uh, when they looked at my uncle's heart and lungs and stuff, uh, he had a lesion on his heart and things from a heart attack. And they said, we see these, or it's like heart attack-like, in uh, pilots from Vietnam who got a lot of Agent Orange on them. Uh, and, uh, you know, we see this in guys that are even really healthy like him. And that's just an example of how I've had two people in my family die or be contributed to Monsanto, which owned the Agent Orange. I mean, it's just like you people never stop. I mean, you're assaulting us, but it's done with stuff that kills us decades later or, or we have a deformed kid. It's like Fallujah and the Marines have a five-fold increase in deformed babies. They have a 14 to 18 fold, depending on the year, increase for the Iraqis in Fallujah, a four-fold increase across Iraq. Belgrade has a four-fold increase where the U.S. and NATO use DU on civilian targets. I mean, it's crazy. It's like it's space aliens really run the government, and they want to live in a radioactive environment or something. I mean, you, I mean, you try to think of logic. I don't really believe that. I'm saying hypothetically as a, as a way to understand it. I... I I want to believe there's some reason. No, the, the establishment just doesn't care. While they lecture us all day long about how we got to get rid of our cars because they're going to hurt the earth and we've got to pay a carbon tax and we've got to restrict this and restrict that. And, oh, you can't wash your car in your own yard because the soap runoff will hurt the... They are obsessed with everything they can tax us on and track us on. But all the real stuff, they're doing it on purpose. They're doing it on purpose, on record, on Santo, all the big GMO companies. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being assaulted by you people. I'm tired of it. And exactly what that lawyer is, a good lawyer. All the studies he was mentioning, we've covered. The Pentagon, MIT, all of them, they all know. They wouldn't let them use DU until 1990. They had it in the 50s, stockpiled in Eastern uh, Europe, Western Europe border, in case the 10 to 1 superiority tanks of the Russians came in. They were then going to serve up, once a nuclear war already started, DU as a secret weapon to be fired from high caliber rifles and small anti tank uh, artillery that three man teams could carry and assemble to take out uh, the uh, tanks. But it was only to be used in just a red-level nuclear war emergency. Ten to one. Now the establishment said in 1990, use it. Again, it isn't just about the poisoning. It's about why is the establishment doing this? I mean, look at, look at Steve Jobs, you know, you know, dying young. Look at all this. This is not good. By, by the way, I'm going to do a plug here and then come back and cover the move to ban cars, have major cities car-free. MSNBC is reporting it like it's wonderful. Edward Snowden tells German TV that NSA is involved in industrial espionage. <clears throat> Ever heard that before? 16 years ago here? I was told by an NSA whistleblower, by another NSA whistleblower, and by th at least three telecom whistleblowers. Because as more and more of them came to me, I got more and more. And they were smart. Rodeos, car shows. Uh, I, did a, I did a remote at a golf course, and a guy showed up and gave me info. And, I mean, these were all, like, engineers with the pocket protectors, but good engineers, high-level engineers, you know, getting into their Mercedes and Cadillacs and driving off. And they, and they all told me the same thing. They said it's economic data to, to, to predict the future and control the world. And I've been saying that for 16 years. People think I'm crazy. Now it's all being announced. This is a big deal, folks. You can end free will if you can predict the future because then you can put stimuli in to manipulate and it gives you a targeting system on the mind with your stimuli to learn how to guide the brain. It's mind control. <coughs> Excuse me.
So don't be mad at the public they're under mind control. L listen, if you're in the Navy or if you were around Fukushima or you're on the West Coast, you're insane if you're not getting the gourmet salts that have the good iodine in them. But that is bound iodine and is still not the proprietary nascent iodine that we sell. And we sell stuff that we use. I discovered this doing research for myself and my family. And I tried a bunch of them and couldn't take them. It gave me stomach aches. I found this brand that no one even knew about, 20-something years, proprietary National Academy of Sciences, and basically bought them out. Or we're the distributor of it. And it is half the price, double the strength of many leading competitors. It's Survival Shield. We did get a lot more of it in. But quite frankly, it's a small laboratory. And it's completely uh, organic um, the uh, corn-based glycerin out of Germany, very hard to get organic corn, but it is amazing. And when you purchase it, it helps fund our operation, InfoWarsLife.com. We've got uh, discounts when you order in bulk. And, of course, it stores well, so you can save it. But this is something I take morning, noon, and night. I personally take double the dose that's recommended. I don't recommend you do that. Talk to your physician. You will go through some detoxing first. But I'm taking my second dose of the day, and it's just done wonders for me. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. We have the Super Male Vitality and the Fluoride Shield with the iodine and five other key ingredients at InfoWarsLife.com. Do you know about the NSA loophole? Or maybe you think your law-abiding ways are too boring for them to care about you. Tell that to the Virginia farmer who was audited by the IRS because of her Tea Party activities. Or the Texas man who woke up to a SWAT team raid because of online comments he had made about his gun collection. No, God-fearing Americans like you are in the crosshairs. Learn how to drop off the government's radar and get off the grid at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. You've heard about Numana, true American pioneers in healthy, GMO-free, storable foods. Great-tasting meals with no MSG, soy, or chemical preservatives. No high-fructose corn syrup or aspartame, and gluten-free options. Plus, superior 25-year shelf life and good enough to eat now. But have you heard this? Numana is so confident in our quality and taste, we'll give you $50 just to try it out. Call 888-597-0775 or use coupon code RADIO at checkout. GMOfreefoodstorage.com. Numana, food storage you'll love to eat. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. It's time to kick some ash. Because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vaporit e-liquid by La Cig. Because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com. Spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. Are you sneezing, coughing, and aching? <coughs> Do you have a sore throat, a fever, or the sniffles? There's no reason to be sick this cold and flu season with immune system support from Supernatural Silver. Supernatural Silver can give your body the help it needs to fight off harmful pathogens without hurting beneficial gut flora and without leaving behind resistant bacteria. Antibiotics can damage good microflora and often leave behind bacteria which can cause problems later on. If you're sick of being sick, try Supernatural Silver. Supernatural Silver, the number one choice of thousands for a safe and effective way to protect against the many diseases and illnesses that we are facing today. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com, read our customer reviews, and see the life-changing results that people are having. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code PROTECTED for 20% off your entire order. And like us on Facebook, Supernatural Silver. Alex Jones here, back live. We're going to talk more about this with uh, James O'Keefe coming up. He's gotten subpoenaed by the degenerate governor of New York State. Hey, guys, will you give me that article with the Cuomo last week saying if you're a pro-life or a gun owner, you're not welcome? I mean, that is so authoritarian. And now they're going after Project Veritas. 
By the way, O'Keefe's been arrested before for exposing Senator Landry. Uh, I mean, you do regular journalism, you get arrested in this country. And this is part of a major pattern of persecution that I predicted would accelerate last uh, Thursday with Bob Barr, hours before the D'Souza thing came out. And, 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 and there's not a backlash to this. If they get away with it, Katie bar the door. That's how dictators do it. They, they, they test. Like a parrot will reach out and put its beak on a perch to see if it'll hold them. And, you know, Senator Cruz, I just, I, I can't believe, I didn't trust Cruz at first because um, I, I didn't really know him. And he just kind of came out of nowhere in Texas government. We interviewed him once. Uh, we should try to, probably try to get him on. But the point is, is that he's totally proven himself to be absolutely incredible. I just admire Senator Cruz so much. Bottom line, um, he got on Schaefer's show on uh, Face the Nation and said, we have a dangerous power grab by Obama. They're arresting members of the press. This is a concern everyone. You got the IRS persecuting people. This is tyranny. Obama's dangerous. And Schaefer laughs at him and then cuts the feed. Well, it went out on the internet. Went out on the internet, but it did not go out on television. They cut a minute and 30 seconds of it. We have that up on Infowars.com right now. Because, it, listen, they can't allow this out because if it gets out there, they're going to go down. Now, you got the State of the Union tomorrow. You know, I may even do a live broadcast tomorrow. When the nightly news ends, what time's the State of the Union tomorrow? 8 o'clock Central? 7 o'clock Central? I, I'm, I think I may pipe it in there and just do a special live report tomorrow. <clears throat> now, shifting gears here, folks, this is an article out of CNBC. And they're reporting it like, again, it's no big deal. They're just acclimating you. Germany is the most far along with Agenda 21 in the world, from what I've seen. The worst city in the U.S. would be San Francisco, New York, and then Austin for it. And, and it's official U.N. treaty where basically all cars will be barred from the city. You've got to use their mass transit as a system of control. But it doesn't mean that then that'll cut back on oil prices. You'll pay even more because it's all about gouging you for more, all about living in a 250-square-foot apartment. That's the global model. Not having single-family dwellings. I've got a feminist up on Infowars.com, a news article saying women that, are, that, that have children and are homemakers are disgusting and shameful. And you're like, man, that's really hateful. The, the, these are not liberals. These are conquerors. They're going to put us out in the barn. You've got to break up the family to do that. CNBC, a ban on autos. Major cities consider going carless. Germany, home of high-speed Autobahn, is perhaps one of the few countries that has had an intense love affair with an automobile as the U.S., but in an effort to go green, the country's second largest city is studying ways to eliminate cars by 2034. They'll do it a lot quicker than that. The northern city of Hamburg has laid out an initial concept named Green Network Plan that would expand public transport and add more routes for pedestrians and bicyclists. The most controversial aspect of the plan calls for a steady phase out of automobiles in the center of the city over the next two decades. And folks, this is... A hot topic, it says, among urban planners, especially in Europe and other industrialized countries. This is deindustrialization. And that's the plan. So I told you that was coming. And you don't understand, they're not making 250 square foot apartments available. They're going to raise the taxes where that's all you can have. Unless you're making millions of dollars. While they bulldoze Detroit. Unbelievable. We're going to go to break. We've got a bunch of other news coming up, but then James O'Keefe's going to be joining us. Hey, don't you wish this guy would run into a burning house for freedom? Man runs into a burning home to save his Xbox? What a zombie. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine.